How often do you feel like your tank is completely empty? And at the end of the game, you're exhausted, or even during the game, you're having to say, coach, I need to sub. Or mentally, you've checked out because you're exhausted, you can no longer continue at a high level. Well, typically what this tells me, because we have seen over 8,000 athletes over the years, and the comments that we keep hearing over and over and over and over is, how should I be eating, coach? How can I maintain my high level? How can I improve my stamina so I can last the whole game? And there's dozens of, of valuable tips, million dollar tips I can give you, but I'm gonna give you three today. And the three that are the most common that I, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, even if you made these changes starting tonight or starting tomorrow, you're gonna see a massive difference in your energy levels. The first one is you're gonna to wanna to eat protein with every meal. Now I'm not suggesting go and buy yourself a cow and store it in your basement. What I'm suggesting is that every time you eat something, whether it's your breakfast, whether it's your snack, in between lunch and breakfast, whether it's your lunch, every time you eat, you've gotta have some form of protein, okay? Very simple to do. Your protein helps rebuild the muscles, helps allow you to push through when you're working out. So protein is something that if without it, you're gonna get weak and you're gonna feel extreme fatigue and it's gonna weaken your immune system to the point where you don't wanna train because you're gonna be a little bit to the point where you're gonna be getting into an overtrained state. Number two, valuable tip number two. Most athletes don't eat enough before a game. They don't even eat enough after the game. So the pre and post meals are valuable. They're important. You've got to have the correct number of calories two hours before a strong match or, or a practice. And you've got to have your meal within an hour after finishing that practice or that game. And those nutrient dense meals have to have your starchy carbohydrates, your proteins, and they have to have some essential fatty, fatty acids or some healthy fats. Third thing that uh, I want you to take away that is gonna be, this is probably the million dollar tip for most athletes, is we all work out hard. We all spend hours and hours and hours every week training and playing and pushing ourselves to the limit, but most of us do not have a recovery drink after our workout. A recovery drink will give you enough fuel that you're going to be able to maintain that same intensity you just had the next day without question. Having a, the, the proper mix of protein and carbohydrates in a liquid solution, like in a, a shaker cup, and you pound that back within 15 minutes of your intense activity, you're gonna find it's gonna re refuel your muscles, refuel your body instantly. It's gonna give you the energy you need to do your proper stretching and your cool down after that game or that practice. And then you have your meal within the hour and boom, there you go. Next day, you're ready to rock and roll again, especially on tournament days where you've got several games back to back. You're going to need to refuel your body properly. If this information was helpful and you'd like to hear a little bit more, contact us at virgiconditioning.com. Sign up for our newsletter and we'll feed you these tips all day. Thank you very much. My name is Glenn Virgie.